going on everybody we're gonna be doing some metal detecting today today i think though it's gonna be more of like a chill relaxed episode uh let me show you around this little area i'm at real quick beautiful little location honestly there's really no one in sight just the birds the butterflies and the red fire ants down here in florida ah cannot forget the mosquitoes so uh yeah, I just got the little simplex out here today. I got that little SP24 coil. The size of that coil, I think, is 9.5 inches by 5 inches. And I'd really like to see that size coil for the legend here really soon. So I'm hoping maybe one of these days we can see that soon. So uh, I guess let's just get into this today. My goal is always when I'm really out at like parks or beaches, I really would love to find some gold or jewelry, but you know, I'll take some assorted coins and uh, we'll clean up the scrap while we're out here too, huh? So I'll try to show you guys like the target IDs, let you guys hear the sounds of the objects under the ground, and then we'll dig them up live together. So. This one's a 4142 or a 4041 for our first target of the day. What do you guys think it's going to be? <laughs> I'm going to take a wild guess and say it just might be a pull tab. <laughs> I'm not 100% on that one though, so let's dig it up and see. Oh, look at that. First guess, that's pretty good, huh? First target of the day is going to be a pull tabby, L pull tab maximus there. So I'm going to try to keep my plugs nice and clean out here. It's not really grass down here. It's more of like a um, kind of like a type of a weed cover or maybe like a wildflower or something. Let's just dig that one up real quick. 17, 18, probably on the simplex going to be some aluminum foil. <laughs> But let's get them out real real quick we probably won't dig every signal like that today try to keep it a little bit interesting dig up some assorted signals all right that's another kind of a good guess there another little piece of aluminum foil i think i'm going to start to get in the power digging mood here though in a minute though and we're going to uh i don't know we're going to dig up some targets relatively quickly and see what we can get Looks like maybe there was a mower out here or something. This usually happens when the mower turns. That's definitely not for me digging there. It's kind of an iron scratchy signal. Let's just dig it up real quick, see what we got. And maybe if we keep digging up nothing but scrap, maybe we can start to go for like some coin signals. But I'm gonna dig up some signals to try to go for some gold, you know? And if this area doesn't produce, we got some other areas we can work with at this location too. Where did this thing just go? Ah, there she is. Jumpy signal. That's going to be a bottle cap right there. Let's keep going. Another kind of uh, in the pull tab range here. I guess it could be the gold range as well, right? So today I just kind of want to warn you guys that there's not going to be any guarantee we're going to find anything good. <laughs> I'm going to give it my best shot. Guys, wait a second. Don't you tell me already as I'm saying that this could be a troll. Oh, guys, already, man. Look at that. That's what's up, dude. With the simplex, baby. I was reading up 4142, just like a freaking pull tab. <laughs> yes. Got us a ringer already. Like, what, five targets into the hunt or something? I don't think it's going to necessarily be the golden or silver ring, per se, but... That is a nice ring right there. It says love you on it. You guys get a good look at that? Let's give you a good look. Let's appreciate that one for a second there. <laughs> That's realistically probably the best find we're going to get today. But you got to keep an open mind. You never know, right? Let's see. 
Yeah, I see that little love ring there. Love, love you. How special. That's sad for somebody, you know? That was probably sentimental to somebody, but that's a little ring to add to our collection there. So let's ring it over the machine real quick. Oh, wait. Uh, it's a little bit bouncy. Let me put it on the ground. I think in the hole it was a 40, 40 something. Really similar to a pull tab. Yeah, 41. So that's that is a perfect example. I love when stuff like that happens, honestly, because it's just. Huh? I just got a ring right here. It's just a junk. Uh huh. It's a it's a junker, but. <laughs> I pulled up like three pull tabs. It usually don't happen to me, honestly. It's nothing special, but you never know what's out here, you know? It's it's nothing special, just a little well, crusty say, one. You. Yeah. And that's cool. Not too bad though, right? You catch anything out there? Uh, not yet, but listen. Uh, try, try to get this, what this sounds like. Oh, what the lure sounds like? Sounds like iron. iron? Yeah, yeah. You could find them though. <laughs> Right there. Let me get one. All right, yeah, we'll do. Yeah, for yeah, sure. <laughs> it's pretty cool ring, though. Yeah, it's it's just like a cheap one, probably from a kid or something, you know. But you never know what you're gonna I'm find. Also, uh, pipe I heard, nice pink Pyrex one. Yeah, I'll let you know if I find anything. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, and it was laying on the ground up there. But a pen table that were all lined up over there. And uh. I took it home, bored it out. It's nice pink pyrex and shit. Yeah. Perfect. It was just a, gla a nice glass one. one? Huh. Yeah. That's You never know what you're going to find, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you too, man. Good luck out there. Huh? What's that right there? I heard something. Oh, there's there's a lot of like garbage. This one sounds kind of like aluminum foil. You got to get through a bunch of. Sound? Yeah, just a little bit though. The thing about the metal detector that's cruel is a lot of the gold will sound just like the trash. So basically, really, it's really? it's like the love of the hobby. Yeah, you got to dig up a lot of I don't trash. Know something they can never make a magnet to pick up just gold. Yeah, a magnet. Yeah, they need to make something like that, right? Yeah. Some something they. Yeah. Forget the other Shaker, stuff, right? Man. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. That, yeah, all right, man. All right. I'll see you later. <laughs> yeah, he, he seemed pretty cool, but you do have to always keep an eye over your shoulder, you know? You never know what someone's true intentions are. He was pretty cool, though. Right there, you guys saw that though, right? The live dig ring, baby. That's just a little foil seal there, nothing too special. But yeah, let's get into this. That's a very good little start to the hunt there. I wanted to keep that live too, that little interaction. I wanna start making like live, real hunts, you know? Like this is how hunts go sometimes. People go, come up to you, stuff happens, you know? You gotta always be a little bit wary when you're out there. Can never be too comfortable you know what i'm saying so keep your eyes over your shoulder everybody that's a big reason i don't like wearing uh, headphones either but also keep an open mind that people are going to be nice and just want genuine genuine interaction too you know he was just like a fisherman out here big old red ant in that hole oh no i'm not going in there with my hand not today let's slow it down a little bit it's like as I just go in there with my hand <laughs> I'm risking it for you guys there it is yeah a lot of these right here there's a lot of these out here I've been to this spot like once or twice before I actually got rained out here and there's a lot of these old uh, pull tabs out here so I'm just gonna get through them I'm gonna kind of just power dig pretty much the similar sounding ones to the pull tabs even if it sounds good I'm gonna dig it up and we're gonna see if we can get rewarded for doing so so that one was right over by the bench. I'm gonna stick by this bench for a minute. 3738 on the target ID. <laughs> Little love you ring there. <laughs> yeah, he happened to uh, come up just at the right time too. Usually doesn't happen like that. <laughs> Mostly just these bad boys out here, but if you're digging them up, you could be rewarded. 
Let's see what else we got. I'm just running the simplex in park one mode also. Might switch it over to field in a little bit. Let's leave that one for now. Twenty three, twenty four. I guess I'll go for. I don't know if these are someone's holes right here or what. There is squirrels out here, so I guess you cannot be uh, so sure. But I'm always trying to keep my plugs like as nice as I possibly can. You know, that's important to me, especially in the county I'm in. I think I've told you guys this before, but um, yeah, not too long ago, I think maybe even a year or two ago, this little county that I'm in didn't allow metal detecting in the parks. It was a recent addition. I don't know what happened. If someone, you know, someone who actually worked for the county got it passed or if a regular guy like us or something was, you know, this is a benefit to the hobby because of how much trash we clean up, which that is the truth, you know? or not even a benefit to the hobby but a benefit to like our parks and our beaches you know you you pull out so much trash and rusty metal and uh you know lithium batteries and just all kinds of stuff so you know that's a case that i think people should start to make to their local uh you know local government branches whatever if you have to uh, pitch that idea to like city hall i'm not really sure exactly but and I know a lot of reason they don't allow it is because people come through to the local parks with a big old shovel or even a hand digger and they don't respect the ground, you know? They they just come through and just pop a big old hole open, you know, and just cover it all up all messy. And the people who work at the parks, they don't like to see that, you know what I'm saying? Even normal people don't like to see that. They want the parks, you know, nice and pristine, so. It's an ultra bouncy one let's just dig them up so yeah if you can maybe even uh there should be a course or something a metal detecting course at least a plug popping course for people getting into the hobby you know what i'm saying at least be able to keep your holes nice and clean that way metal detecting will be allowed for years to come and just don't get banned everywhere man then the only people who are going to be doing it are the people who aren't supposed to be doing it and that's never a good thing, so. This one was pretty bouncy. I do not know what that is, everybody. Actually, I think I do. It's a piece off of a old, maybe even a tin can. Doesn't quite look aluminum to me. Piece off of an old can there. So, let's keep going. There's a little stage over here, which is kind of cool and interesting in front of the stage or on top of the stage what's that that's glass right there that's what i'm saying like at least me if i see a big old hunk of glass on the ground i'll try to pick it up and throw it in the pouch uh maybe maybe i should have dug that one but let's go for something a little bit better It was like a 65. Uh, it was sounding, I was going to say it was sounding like it was right on the surface there. I was just a little bit off on them. What we got right here? Whoops. Where'd you go? There he is. Oh, crusty penny. Okay. Didn't expect a penny on that one. The target ID was not quite... Uh, penny but it was crusty penny range so let's power dig this one probably a pull tab i might start going for a couple different sounding signals here but i haven't dug that many pull tabs yet so i give up on them you know i found that one pretty close to a pull tab that ying let's see what we got got to be out there to find it that's the truth don't really matter i mean it matters a little bit i think what machine you're swinging a little bit there's something a different style pull tab but for the most part like i i think personally a guy with the 250 machine that's swinging 
pretty much every single day, it's probably going to find a lot more than the guy with the $1,600 machine who's swinging like once a week, you know, or once a month, especially. But I don't know, that, that might not always be true. Depends probably on the locations and stuff you're hunting too. Thing sounds kind of big. Yeah, I don't think I'm interested in that. Let's get up here on this thing. This is like a little stage of some type. I don't know necessarily what they do up here, but... I also don't know really what that guy was talking about. He was talking about he found some type of a pipe over here or something. Some paraphernalia or something. <laughs> some iron. I skipped up a 19. Could be skipping up the gold, man, but... All right, I don't think this stage is the spot to be. Like, what is this? Is this a giant hole from someone? Or is that just a divot from... Could be a divot from the lawnmower, I think, where they actually turn around. I know that can be, uh, you know, a fool to someone. Someone might see that initially and think that's a giant hole from a guy using a metal detector when in reality it's probably from the lawnmower. Let's try this one. It's like 50s, high 50s. Pretty much the only signal we've had up here. There it is, though. It's a bullet. Look at that guy. Okay, it's kind of interesting, huh? I don't know what type that is, but... I like finding something a little different. That, that gets my interest going again. It's not all pull tabs out here, huh? Got some bullets too. This spot's awesome though. I love hunting spots like this. Give you guys just some nature action there. Hear different kinds of like animals and birds. I heard an owl one of these days, I swear to you. I think I got it on video, actually. It was it was a while ago, like eight months ago at the Vanquish. I was out in like the middle of the woods. I'm being a little bit picky, I guess, but we're just going for whatever sounds good. I love when I'm out here, instead of hearing people screaming, I hear animals, you know, chirping. Another one, look at that. That one's flat. Is that the same type of bullet, or is that something a little bit different there? Alright, the stage producing something. It looks like it might have hit something there. Huh. I really need to uh, research my bullets a little bit better. I always ask you guys for help, but why haven't I just researched them on my own yet? I have a little bit, but I always forget, you know, and I kind of like to get you guys, you know, interactive. If you have some knowledge that you want to share with me, I like that, you know, feel free to do that. All right, so up here on the stage... I'll bet you that's some foil, but let's go for it. Chance it for a little piece of gold real quick. 17 on the target ID. The likelihood is probably 999 times out of a thousand. It's going to be a piece of foil. And then there's that one time it'll be a gold chain. 14 karat gold chain, a little tiny one. Let's go over here by this other picnic table. Wait a second. Signal doesn't sound the best. Switch it over to field mode, get some squeaky tones going on. Doesn't sound too bad though, 4950. Get through those pull tabs, man. Kinda just butchered that plug a little bit there. I'm not perfect, no one's perfect. But if you try to clean it up nice at the end, you know, that's what really matters. You can butcher a plug, but if you know how to doctor it up, Luff it up a little bit, and you're in good hands. There she is, look at that. <laughs> I like it. That's satisfying to me. Sounds a little bit more clicky. Up in the high 40s there, 48, 49. Ooh, 
probably shouldn't have just dug that with my hands. Felt something a little sharp there. I think it's a piece of an aluminum can shredded up. Might even be some iron in there or something. Not so sure about that one. Some scrap. All right, let's make it to this picnic bench real quick. Right on top of the ground right here. Like this can't be from a metal detector user, right? <laughs> I ain't digging a hole like that, man. You must be crazy. <laughs> 70s right here. Some iron in there too, a little bit it sounded like. See what we got. A little bit different on the target ID. Is that it? Whoa, what is that? Wait a second. Is that it? That's probably it. Look at that. It's a little heart thing. <laughs> the rest of it might still be in there. Nice. Simplex slapping it out. I'm telling you what. Yep, there she is. Look at that. I might have just broke it a little bit, but I consider that maybe another little small piece of jewelry there, huh? What do you guys think? It's one of those little light up thingies. It's probably like a little flashing heart there, so. That's not too bad, but that goes to show that, you know, I found a ring in this thing, so there's been some activity over here. I think this area is worth searching some more. What do you guys think? I'd say we're going to end it off right there. We're going to cover our hole up. Uh, I want to say I thank you guys for watching if you made it this far. I appreciate you guys a whole bunch. And if you think I should hunt this spot again, leave me a comment down there below, man. Let me know. What metal detector would you like to see out here? I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> Probably bring the old simplex back out here, huh? Maybe the vanquish. I don't know. We'll bring a couple detectors out here. Like I said, I don't think it matters too much about the detector. You just got to be out there swinging it, man. So I appreciate you guys watching. We got two little pieces of jewelry on the day. I'd say that's pretty good to me, man. But I'm not done. I'm going to go out here and I'm going to search around some other areas. So uh, I'll see you guys very soon. If you want to see some more, be sure to stick around. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.